Saving is not easy, especially in these times with limited income opportunities due to the effects of COVID-19. Even before the pandemic, most households failed to set aside but a month's salary of possible loss of income. There is no better time to save, and it just takes one month of commitment to establish a saving habit. Now that you understand what saving is and why you must save, let's look at ways to actually save. Savings accounts. One can save using the many savings accounts offered by banks. These differ depending on the amounts required to open the account, accessibility, interest earned, and ease of use and risk. Notice deposit accounts. These accounts usually require a minimum deposit and a minimum balance. You also need to give a set period of notice to withdraw any funds from the account. In general, the higher the minimum deposit and the longer the notice period, the higher the interest rate earned. For example, 32-day notice accounts. Fixed deposit accounts. These are lump sum saving accounts. Here, you can deposit a fixed amount as much and as often as you like for a fixed term. You are also only permitted to withdraw a specific number of times from the account in a given year or you cannot withdraw at all during that period. Stock files. Stock files have become a saving tool for most communities. These group schemes allow a number of people to pile their savings together into one collective form of investment. In so doing, they are making a commitment as a group rather than as an individual. The interest is usually high due to the size of group savings monthly. 